In the previous video, we saw how uh, we can create a dictionary. Uh, we also learned about the three key terms like uh, records, items, and value sets. Now, this is a continuation of the previous video, whereby in this video we are going to see how uh, forms, CS Pro forms, can be created. So, we had uh, these. Uh, records i think you remember records uh, we had items and also value sets now what you do you just create uh, forms by clicking this um, yellow button over here these are forms a symbol for forms you just click it and then uh, from there you shall be dragging uh, these records to this plane over here. Now I'm dragging the first one. This is the first, and then he, I think you remember uh, this was the first part of identification. Then he right click, uh, add a form. Then you can name maybe this is identity. But uh, A identification. But A identification. And then he, again, I'm going to add the other one. This is. Add forms. Okay, let me let me add form first, and then this is also the roster, and then add form. I'm going to end with the other one for household characteristics. Add form. Okay, we're not going to add the because that one is the last the last form. Now. Uh, that is the way how one can create forms. Now you can see now we have these forms, but we I have to I have to rename now uh, these forms properties. This is party 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 B party A party A identification. Then uh, this is part B, part B, I just differentiate a little bit so that, uh, and then uh, this is the third one, this is uh, household members information, uh, this is the uh, household, all members, all roster, HH roster, can call it like that, no problem. And then uh, the other one is HH characteristics, household characteristics. Okay, let me write household characteristics, household. This one is household roster. Household roster. So we have already generated the forms. Now it is easier for someone to track because these are uh, sections. We are section from our questionnaire. We had the three sections: identification, household roster, and the household characteristics. After we've already created the data entry forms, then we can learn. You can learn your program and then so as to generate the data file. Make sure that, that uh, the, the source type is CSPRO database, CSPRO DB, and then you have to click those three dots over there. 
three dots and then uh, make sure that you are working with your hss 2020 folder and then you open the data folder so that we can save the data file maybe the name or hs hss data file maybe any save after there then you can start doing your data entry but at this moment you have not included any kind of logic so it, the program is still uh, up to this moment you can start the data data entry doing some data you can start doing your your, your data entry but at this moment also it is not advisable since we have not included any any logic that is how forms can be created in CS4. the coming video will show you how uh, cup questions can be created using CS Pro. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't miss the coming video. Thank you. In the previous video, we saw how uh, we can create a dictionary. Uh, we also learned about the three key terms like uh, records, items, and value sets. Now, this is a continuation of the previous video, whereby this video we are going to see how uh, forms, CS Pro forms, can be created. So we had uh, these. Uh, records i think you remember records uh, we had items and also value sets now what you do just uh, create uh, forms by clicking this um, yellow button over here these are forms the symbol for forms you just click it and then uh, from there you shall be dragging uh, these records to this plane over here. Now I'm dragging the first one. This is the first, and then he, I think you remember uh, this was the first part of identification. Then he right click, uh, add a form. Then you can name maybe this is identity. But uh, a identification, but a identification, and then uh, again, I'm going to add the other one. This is. Add forms. Okay, let me let me add form first, and then this is also the roster, and then add form. I'm going to end with the other one for household characteristics. Add form. Okay, we're not going to add it because that one is the last, the last form. Now. Uh, that is the way how one can create forms. Now you can see now we have these forms, but we I have to I have to rename now uh, these forms properties. This is part 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 B part A part A identification. Then uh, this is part B, part B, I just differentiate a little bit so that, uh, and then uh, this is the third one, this is uh, 
household members information uh, this is the household all members or roster HDH roster you can call it like that no problem and then uh, the other one is HH characteristics household characteristics okay let me write household characteristics household this one is household roster household roster so we already generated the forms now it is easier for someone to track because these are uh, sections we are section from our questionnaire we had the three sections identification household roster and the household characteristics after we've already created the data entry forms then we can learn you can learn your program and then so as to generate the data file make sure that, that uh, the the source type is CS Pro database sysprodb and then you have to click those three dots over there three dots and then uh, make sure that you are working with your hcs 2020 folder and then you open the data folder so that we can save the data file maybe the name or hs hss data file maybe any save after there, then you can start doing your data entry. But at this moment, we have not included any kind of logic. So it, the program is still uh, up to this moment. We can start the data, data entry doing some data. You can start doing your, your, your data entry. But at this moment, also. It is not advisable since we have not included any any logic.